Hi guys, welcome back. Today let's look into the part B that is the logical reasoning type of questions. The first part of the questions that is the general aptitude are in the last video. Do check that out. The link is in the description box below. Moving on, the drill remains the same as I'll mention the question and four options and also mark the answers. So let's start. Here's the first question. With which of the four figures does the word or phrase given match? One, symmetry. And here are the options. So option two is symmetrical. That is the answer. Next phrase is concentric. Here are the options. And the right answer is option three. Moving on. Which of the four squares shown below have correct black-white visual balance? Here are the options and the right answer is option 4. Next, the eye level of the perspective view of the building in the picture is at the roof level, midway between the ground and roof level, at the ground level, at the porch level and the answer is at the ground level. Next question, how many vertical surfaces are there in the object shown below, including hidden surfaces? 1, 20, 2, 30, 3, 22, 4, 28. These are the vertical surfaces. You need to count every cube and the answer is the first option that is 20. Moving on, the diagram on the left extreme is the plan of which of the four objects shown on the right. So this is the diagram and you need to choose from the four options. That is the plan of a diagram. And hence the answer is number four. Next question. Which of the four figures does the word or phrase symmetry given best match? And this is pretty easy and the answer is one. With which of the four figures does the word or phrase radial given best match? And the answer is option four. Moving on. The plan of the object given on the extreme left is which one of the four plans given on the right? This is the object and these are the four options for the plan. And you can see two arms and the arms are horizontally placed and that is why the answer is 4. The face of the cube are numbered from 1 to 6. Three views of the cube are given below. Based on these, answer the next two questions. So these are the cubes. The first question is which number is one of the face opposite to 5? And the option is 3, 2, 6, 1. So these are the faces and the answer is 3. Next question, which number is on the face opposite to 4 and the options are again the same and the answer is 2. Moving on to the next question, for the next two questions select one of the four figures from the right which should come after the figures on the left in the sequence continues. So these are the questions and these are the options. You can see this empty circle vanishing and also the sequence that is why the option is number three in the second question the answer is four because this is the only option which is not repeated in the question next how many triangles are there in this figure let's count this together that is one two three four five six the bigger triangle seven 8, 9, 10 and another triangle if you could find this is the last 11 triangle. Moving on to the next question. The diagram on the left extreme is the plan of which of the four objects shown on the right. So the answer is option 4. This is pretty clear I think. Moving on. With which of the four figures does the word or phrase given match? Again, one symmetry, 
and the answer is because this option is quite symmetrical than all the other options moving on to the next question how many surfaces are there in the figure given below and the answer is option 4 that is seven surfaces moving on to the next question which one of the following figure suits the term radial symmetry so you all could feel that it is the butterfly because it is symmetrical but they have mentioned it to be as radial symmetry and hence the answer is option three moving on to the next question which one of the following figure suits the term eccentric so the answer is option two moving on to the next question the square in this composition are arranged in which one of the following patterns 1 symmetrical 2 linear 3 interlocking 4 radial and the answer is interlocking because all the squares are interlocked with each other next question which one of the following figure suits the term rhythm and the answer is option 3 next where is the eye level of the building view shown here 1 windowsill level 2 above roof level 3 ground level 4 below ground level and the answer is above ground level next which one of the following figure suits the term contrast the answer is option 1 because all the other options are either horizontal or vertical. Which one of the following figures suits the term hierarchy? And the answer is option 2. Next, which picture should come next in the series given below? And the answer is option 3. Next, in the next two questions, there are two sets of figures. The first contain two figures in definite relationship. You have to find out the right figure in the second set from the options given. So in the first option, there are two doors and one window and the house is upside down. While in the second option, the face has two lips and one eye. That is why the right answer is option two. Let's see another question at this in the same type. In the first figure, there is an upside down triangle which has a circle in it. And in the second, there's a circle and has a triangle inside it. So the answer is three because the house is inverted and is inside a box. Next, find the odd one out in each of the questions. That is the figure that does not confirm to the pattern in the other figures and the answer is one because both the figures are not same next same question different options and the answer is two because the other options have symmetry if you draw a line in between next Identify the correct material in the sketches from the choices given. So this is pretty simple and the answer is for wood. Next, answer is glass. Next, the answer is stone. With this, we come to the end of the video. I hope this helped. Comment down below if you want more questions like these in the next video we'll be looking into famous architects of the world and their masterpieces so stay tuned see you bye bye